It's a bit dark today, doesn't it? I know. Uh, hello, Sharon. How are you, my love? I'm not very comfortable here today. Oh, I've got the wrong glasses on as well. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Jackie. It's a bit cold today. Oh, no, I'll put the big ones on. I'll put the big ones on. Hello, Princess. Hello, Nikki. How are you? How are you? How is everybody? Oh, where you all come? Hello, Linda. Hello, Susan. Oh, Sue, sorry. She says hello, John, and everyone. Valerie says hi, John. How are you? How is everybody? I'm a bit tired, actually. Uh, more, oh, not morning. Afternoon, Carol. Claire, good afternoon, John and all. Little rabbit. Uh, Yvonne, good afternoon. How are you? Paula, good afternoon. I'm just going to shut this door. It's got a bit of a fog draft coming up from somewhere and I'm not quite sure where it's coming from. Uh, ooh. Oh, hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Uh, missed a few there. Oh, uh, Sharon's good. Hope you're not too tired. I'm a bit tired this afternoon. Hello again, Anne. Hello, John. Hello, everyone, she says. Carol says, good afternoon. Christine says, afternoon. Uh, Kat says, uh, hello, John. Having a restaurant, costume making, having fun, honey. Ema says, hello. Silla says, good afternoon. Hello, Ben. I was just looking at your pictures. I was just looking at your pictures you've put up. Joy says, good afternoon. How is everybody? It's blowing a gale. It's lovely and sunny, but it's blowing a gale here. Good afternoon, John. Love the show today. Very windy and cloudy here. I've still got the same clothes on. I've even still got my poppy on. Look. Hello, Joan. I'm all right. Thank you very much. Hello, crazy Lorraine. Are you not lying down with your feet up? Uh, so windy today, blew the tree in my garden over. Oh, no. I'm, su I'm surprised there weren't more, but it was very flooded. Hello, Carol. When I drove home through Redditch, it was very flooded in Redditch. Uh, Anne says, afternoon, cold today. Marie says, good afternoon, John and everybody. Uh, Francis says, afternoon, everyone. Still windy here, but stop raining. Oh, yeah, no rain here. It's beautiful sunshine here. Debbie says, good afternoon, John and all. How is everybody? Sue says, Amal, just had a very wet and windy walk in Wigan. Post a video on Sewing Street fans. Oh, do you know what? I bet it was awful in this weather. Marie, hello, John Frizzington. You had a bit of competition on this morning. Alistair in drag. Yes, I noticed. I've seen loads of pictures. Um, complete with, uh, hang on, Mrs. Mop, completely shocking pink feather duster. Carol says, hello, John. Lorraine says, you're f oh, it's freezing up. It's all right, my end. It must be your weather. Hello, John and everyone. Happy Halloween, says Jenny. Oh, I'm shutting the door. No one's coming in. Ghislaine, Ghislaine, snuggled up with the cats. Julie says, hello, handsome. Oh, I don't know what she's watching. Anna says, hello. Jenny says, just back with dog. Eventually stopped raining. Very windy here, John, and going grey. Oh, of course, today's the first day after the clock's gone back. That'll be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, Helen says, hello, John, cutting a dress out today. Pat says, hello, from Utah. Ooh. Hello, Pat. How are you? Uh, Liz says, hello, everyone. Marie says, print horn dove from a very windy and rainy Swansea Valley. Anne says, how do I find the route from our... No idea, Anne. I presume you don't Google it. Let me see if I can find out for you. Um, I don't know. Uh, Rochdale on Tuesday. That's all I know, if you saw my Facebook page. Afternoon, John. Just back from a wet and windy walk. Joan says, I'm making an applique floor mat for my grandson due in March. Oh, not even here yet, Joan. Laurie says, how's your voice feeling? Long weekend to you. My voice is all right. I'm just a little bit tired because I didn't sleep very well again last night. Bit sad today. My baby has left home. Oh, June. Where have they gone? Where have they moved to? Carol says, it was raining here earlier. I had a rainbow. Jacqueline says, fine. Oh, she's fine. October weekend's been busy. Helped my brother at his orchard. Picking and squishing apples. Or you've been making cider. Or have you been making cloudy apple juice? Christine says, looking gorgeous as usual. Oh, thank you, Christine. I don't feel it today. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, if you look at the Facebook page and called The Walk, you'll be able to find out the route there. Oh, a tractor. Poor old tractor. She's had um, a loss this week. 
Uh, Lorraine says, sitting over the cuppa and some birthday cake. Oh, lovely. Cold and wet and miserable in crew, says Angela. Uh, Yvette, good afternoon, John and all. How are you, Yvette? My love. Oh, uh, uh. Um, Margaret, very windy and grey and cold here. We had rain this morning, sunshine this afternoon. Didn't know whether to have the lights on or off all day. They're going on for the evening now. Sahara, where have you been? I've not seen you for ages. Saying hi, all. Yasmin says, love your shirt. I had it, This one I had on at the show today. I've even got my poppy on still from the show today. Michelle, hello, darling. Love to see you. Now, Michelle, I'll have to message you tomorrow or something. Um, we need to meet for coffee and I need to give you a book back. Uh, Jacqueline says, Amel's skirt is amazing. Yeah, I know. I'm really looking forward to them um, um, presenting it to her on Tuesday. Oh, he's gone to Bristol. Oh. Hello, John. Everyone says, Nancy. Kerry says, afternoon, John. I'm making cross body bag here. I've done lots of unpicking. Oh, no. Philippa says it's wet and windy in Blackpool today. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it's freezing there. Hello, John. It's dry now in Kessingland. Oh, I don't know where that is. Kessingland. Bernadette, so John, I'm spending the day putting together a Star Wars quilt. Ooh. Mark, say, John and gang, how are you doing today? We're all fine, thank you. Jane says, oh, sweetie, flipping cold here in Solihull, needed cheering up by you. Well, I'm not far from Solihull. I was in Redditch, that's where the studios are, and it was chucking it down. And the ra roads I drove home were completely flooded, but it's lovely here. It's cold, but lovely. Sandra said, car last. Oh, all the old favourites coming in today. Really noisy rain outside, dark enough to put the lights on. Oh, no. Jacqueline says apple juice and cider. Hello, Connor. Afternoon. I am with my wife and my son now in the Philippines. Oh, you've got there after not seeing him in two years due to the pandemic. Oh, Connor, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Have a lovely, lovely time. Connor's the one that came and sprayed my um path and my you know, my, what's it called, patio and everything, made it look gorgeous. Except this week, I've got really dirty footprints all up and down. I'm hoping the rain will move it. How long are you staying for, Connor? Uh, anyway, Ethne, hello, Ethne. I love making culottes. It's so miserable out, stay warm. Ethne is a very, very famous make um, hair, hair, hair person in the film industry. And um, I've worked with her several times. And uh, she lives in the archway above, as you go and drive into Pinewood. Uh, Ali, hello John, just finishing the last bear for the show, been to beach, Mickey went paddling, do they not get blown over in the wind? Lorraine says, news flash, our third great granddaughter due next March, oh my god, your family never stop making babies, do they? Uh, Alan says, I'm getting my Covid booster, oh I'm, mine is until the 22nd of November. Oh, here you go. Keesling, Kesingland is about two, three miles from Lowestoft. Oh, near you, Laurie. Ian's afternoon, John. Autumnal sunset in Norwich after a wet day. It'll be dark early. It's going to be interesting because I'll show you. Hang on. Let me just turn this around. Look, it's lovely here. It's lovely here, you see. I'll just turn you back again. Uh... Oh, Lou says, a bit of sunshine near me now, doing a bit of hand quilting. Do you know, Lou, you know um, Stuart's shop, he says it's been, oh, sorry, I'm just going to move this. He says it's been so busy, really, really busy. Uh, anyway, Anne-Marie says, afternoon from a very windy Isle of Wight. Margaret says, in, oh, it's in Suffolk, thank you. Lynn says, good afternoon, feeling a little down. Oh, no, Lynn, don't be down. Life's too short. Uh, good to hear and see you and all the others. Sue says, congratulations to... <laughs> to to Crazy Lorraine. Uh, how wonderful to be finally together. My son was in the UK over lockdowns, but back living in Thailand. That's Jacqueline. Her son got engaged to his Thai girlfriend or fiance now. Yeah. Uh, Sue says, afternoon, one and all. Jenny uh, says, we Appletons like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Very oh, yeah, because they're apples. Uh, Lucy. Hi, John. Great to see you. What do you think of Strictly last night? Just watched it. Just watched it. Uh, I thought Giovanni and uh, Death Girl, I should learn her name, shouldn't I, were brilliant. Um, I think it was all, I agreed with it all last night, I think. I can't wait for the, um, what time is the results show tonight? I can't wait. I'm making Briam tonight for my tea and it takes two, just over two hours to make, so I've got to get on with that in a minute. Uh, right, uh, Anne says, afternoon, John, sorry you're late, don't worry. Hi, John, uh, and all sunny but cold in Wolverhampton. My booster is tomorrow, says Carol. Connor says, I'm staying for four months. Four months. And I'll be back in February to start working. I'll come back and clean your patio again next spring for free. Oh, you'd have to do that. You can just squirt it a bit. It'll be fine. I'm thinking of having it relayed, though, because all the, all the... Anyway, 
I'll, I'll see you anyway, even if you come to Square or not, come and see me anyway. Uh, hi, John, just home for a visit to Tynemouth. Lovely sunny walk on the beach, says Jean. Oh, how lovely. Roxana says, sorry, you're feeling a bit like that. Hope tomorrow's better for you. Oh, that's not, she's not talking to me. She's talking to Lynn. Tracy walked into a closed patio door, got a sore nose and bruised cheeks, feeling very sore. Oh, and I bet you feel a bit silly as well, don't you? Judy, afternoon, John, no front. Judy in Kyneton. How are you, my love? I'm like, now, there's something in Kyneton that I'm supposed to come and visit, isn't there? I'm sure somebody said the other day, oh, you should see that's in Kyneton. Nearly bought a flat there. I know, a little house, actually. Lynn Tuit. Uh, hi there, I'm saying a secret project for Becky. Looked up the clock and thought, where's that time gone? And I've missed John. Penny dropped, haven't changed the clock yet. Oh, I hadn't changed the clock in the car. And I was driving home thinking, oh, crack, I've missed Elaine Page. Well, she's not on at the moment, is she? Anyway, I hadn't. Uh, Sarah Bragg says hello. Judy says hi, John. Windy, rainy, sunny here in Chandlersford. I've been on holiday to Weymouth with my daughters and grandchildren. Didn't expect to come home with COVID. Oh no, Judy. Uh, Ian uh, says I thought I was going to get soaked to go to a sewing job. Then oh, hang on, who's that from? Oh, that's Claire replying to Ian. Uh, Anne Bentley said Rose. Oh, Deaf Girls Called Rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Rosie, thank you, Ben. Hello, sorry, late collecting my son from work, says Leanne. And says, uh, results at seven, quarter past seven. Oh, it's only quarter past four, we're fine. I'm fine then. Hi, John and everyone else from a very wet and breezy file coast. Yeah, I bet it is cold up there. Um, yeah, because Dulcie messaged earlier, said we're not going for, we're not going to go for a walk, because we normally go for a walk at five, 5.30ish. And she says it's going to be dark, so it'll be interesting to see how dark it is then. It's a bit windy anyway. Paula says, good afternoon, everyone. everyone. Cold and raining here in Hull. Lorraine says, Rose is amazing with that winning dance. Yeah, beautiful, wasn't it? Judy, I'm in Chandler's for two. Hope you're feeling better soon. Don't go around. We are delighted that Oliver and Cream, 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 that I say no, are, get, got engaged. Oh, fantastic. Fiona says, home from hospital already. Much more cheerful. Lovely to catch up with all the bargains today. Oh, it was exhausting with all those bargains. Just finished 60 Christmas cards. Ten more to go, says Paulie. Oh, I haven't even thought about Christmas yet. Oh, so hello, Susan. She made it. She said, Trace said, yes, I do the win. Uh, yes, I do. The windows were clean. Can't remember what we asked about your windows now. Yes, I do. The windows were clean, she says. June says, I never changed the clock in the car. Much too complicated. Just finishing off a fleecy kimono, says Susan. Margaret says, hello, John. Tony says, hello, John. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, where are we now? Christine's afternoon, John, from a cold and wet Cornwall. Uh, Linda, oh, you're getting ahead with the Christmas. I know, I've not even thought about Christmas yet. Um, oh, no, you've, you've all got to get better. Oh, it's because uh, a lot of people think it's over, don't they? People wandering around, no masks, no nothing. And yet it's still there. It's still out there, isn't it? I did my, um, I got a bit worried because, you know, Clive, Mark's husband, he's got it. And I worked with Mark last Saturday and I was like, <gasps> <coughs> anyway, I've done it Oh. And I'm absolutely fine. I've been turning a new test pattern. Oh, lots of you have been doing pecky hands under frost here. I've had to put my lights on. Excuse me. You've had a date for your booster, yep. The NHS contacted me. I'm older than you, but I've not heard anything yet about a booster. Right, so I got a message from the NHS saying you need your flu jab. So I rang my doctor and said, can I book a flu jab? And she went, no, you have to wait for your COVID test to come through. Anyway, not test, booster. So I got a text yesterday, day before yesterday, from the booster people saying, you need to make an appointment, go here. So I went on and it only gave me one date. It was November the 14th and I can't do November the 14th. And it wouldn't give me any other days to choose from. So then a bit later, I thought, oh, I'll do it later. And then I got a call from a lady and she said, when can I book you in? I said, I can't do the 14th. And then she went, well, the next day is the 22nd. So, no, 23rd, 23rd. So I'm going to hop a state in the morning on the 23rd. But... Um, Sally from number five, she's going on the 10th. And we had our COVID jabs on the same day. Um, there has to be six months and a week after your COVID jab that you have your booster. Carol says, I got most of my Christmas presents already. What? Uh, 
Lorraine said, I've just put out our craved pumpkin. I think she means carved, doesn't she? All the candles will blow out in this wind, wouldn't it? Maybe it's the Christmas tree trail in Kyneton throughout December, well worth visiting up to 500 outdoor trees. No, I don't think that's it, Judy. Hand stitch the binding on my bee quilt while watching you doing a grand job with the sales. Yes, I did get tempted, says Carol. Jean says I've had my flu jab, but not my booster. Oh, I'm having them on the same day. Susan says it's dark and windy here in Derbyshire, but at least the rain stopped. Linda says you must be local to Kyneton. I'm in Wellsbourne. Now, um, Wellsbourne is where I went to have my jab. And Wellsbourne's where um, Delphine lives. Roxana says, I was tempted by the fabric this week, but too many vets bills. Oh, no. Lean to it. Said I had a message read the booster last Thursday. I'm going to have it done this Thursday. Go to the NHS website. You might have to book it from there. Oh, she's talking to, um, uh, I can't remember what she's talking to now. Carol says, I have the jab. I have the jab after the residents in the care home. What, you should, if you're working there, you should have it before, surely. Susan says, I got told I'll be getting a date for my booster and flu jab two months ago and still not heard. Oh, I chased that up. Uh, I have to start early, says Sue. Uh, I have actually got twin daughters. Hang on. Oh, twin daughter's birthday is the week before Christmas. Oh, that must be chaotic. Linda says, they're not doing the jabs at Wellsbourne this time. No, I've got to go to um, Ettington. I'm going to Ettington, Linda, yeah. In Scotland, we get both jabs on the same day. Yep, so do we. So do we, Christine. I'm getting them both on the 23rd of November. So I hope I don't get flu before then. Alan says it's raining in Manchester. Um, anyway, uh, so what news have we all got? We've done the weather. We've done our cold tears. We've done jabs. What news has everybody got this week? I hope he's getting booster next week, says Hillary. Um... I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something about telly then. That, oh, have you watched Diana, the musical? Um, it was awful, but it was good. Why does the video live keep stopping? Oh, Leanne, it might be the weather. It might be your weather. Oh, no, it's frozen. Oh, you froze. Oh, it might be the weather my end then. Could be the weather my end. A few, few of you, if I froze then. Um, the weather's not good, you see, for things like this, is it? Apparently, when I was on the show earlier, oh, no, June says she keeps losing me as well. Maybe there's a storm on its way. I've got a message saying live video pause. Haven't you paid your bill? No, I'm still here. I'm still here. Can anyone else see me? Can anyone have I, have I frozen in everybody's book? Oh, dear me. I don't know. Oh, dear. The weather's causing screen to freeze on me. Oh, maybe we should call it a day then today if we're having lots of issues. Um, I, I haven't frozen my end. But um, a lot of you saying it's a, because... Um, People were saying earlier on um, the show that they, Sky got, because of the weather, Sky kept disappearing. Oh, I'm back now, says Princess. I'm back now. Hello, John Noel. Heavy rain here in Lancashire. Must be affecting the internet. Keeps freezing. Oh, no. It keeps freezing. Do you know what? Should we call it? Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. If it's so cold here in Wells, Somerset, even the screen froze. <laughs> Keep freezing on mine, too. Do you know what? If it keeps freezing, Sandra Scarlett just said it does. Linda says, keep going, John, keep going. You're freezing and jumping about. Shall we call it a day? If it's freezing and everything, it's horrible. It's nothing worse than trying to watch a thing, is there? I think, it did freeze, but you're back now, says Joan. All right, if I start freezing again, let me know and I'll say goodbye. Uh, I've seen an excerpt from Down the Musical, didn't like it. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. I can't tell you, Jacqueline, it's rubbish. Oh, I'm back now, says Anne. Margaret refreshed the page, she's okay. Okay here, says Laurie. Isabel says it had frozen, but it's okay now. You're back now, says Margaret. All right, then I'll, I'll keep going, I'll keep going, I'll keep going. I wonder what that was then. Maybe there's a storm on its way. It only freezes for a minute. I know, but it's really annoying, isn't it? When you're watching something, it keeps juddering and freezing. Shirley says, hope you're not going for your usual walk today. No, Dulcie messaged earlier saying we're not doing Sunday evenings anymore. I live in a Reading near Falkirk and the peach keeps freezing, says Valerie. Michelle says, I'm sat so the Delphine Brooks elephant and you've gone. I'm back, Michelle, I'm back. I'm all right in R Rubery. Oh, Linda says I'm all right now. Uh, you're OK here in France, says Yvette. Have you not got a storm there? Intermittent freeze. You see, it must be other people's because if, if I'm not freezing in France, 
You did freeze a bit for not long, says Susan. A tractor, coming through loud and clear here, pet. How are you? A tractor, my lovely. I can see you okay in Swansea Valley. Bada da. No, it's Prinhorn da now, isn't it? Prinhorn. Going to see the music, tell me on a Sunday next window with Jody Prenger. Nice, that's something to look forward to. I love that show. I absolutely love it. I know all the songs. Not too sure. I'm not too keen. I mean, I could be wrong. Not too keen on Jody Prenger. Don't know why. I'm okay in Durham, says Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Jill says it's okay in Tewkesbury. Isn't it weird? Okay here, says Claire. Mark says, yes, you froze, but you're back now. Anne says, no. What did I ask Anne? Which was freezing. Not freezing here, says Susan. Carol says, I'm watching Bones. I've never heard of that. It's fine here, says Nancy. Oh, I'll carry on, don't I? Vida, hello, Vida. Jumping picture here in the Midlands. Oh, there must be a swathe of a storm going across the country, mustn't there? The same, we're going to um, have floods, isn't it? You, John, you're worth putting up with a few hiccups. Now, Anne, wasn't I supposed to find something out for you? Didn't you ask a question? I said, I'll try and answer you later. Message me later. And I can't remember what it was now. Keep going, John. You've not frozen here, says Alan. Sue says, Jay Osmond looking for wardrobe people for his Osmond's musical. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Thanks, Sue. Lou says, please don't go yet. You're our ray of sunshine. All right, well, 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 well. Hi, John. What are your plans for Liskyard? I'm in Plymouth, so pop in for coffee. Well, no, I, I won't have time to pop into you, I'm afraid, Sarah, because I'm fully booked. I drive up on the 13th, prep the show. We do the show on the 14th, and I drive home on the 15th. Judith, hello, John. Just got back from the vet shit again with my poorly dog. She's got liver problems and not too good. Oh, no. Was up there last weekend at 12 midnight and again at 2 a.m. So that's hard to cope with. Costs a fortune as well, doesn't it, Judith? Uh, Anna Zoe Nut. Oh, Anna Zoe Nut's in, everyone. It's a bit on and off, but minimal. Keep going. I'm trying to... I am trying to be brave, cutting the back of a jacket to add some fabric as an alteration. This is happily stopping me. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh. Uh, what were you saying was rubbish, something you've watched? Princess Diana the Musical. Just called Diana the Musical Princess on Netflix. It's rubbish. June says, I'm cunt for eating crispy Chrome do crispy cream donuts. Why? What on earth do you cook for just one person? Oh, June. What you do is you cook enough for two and you put half of it in the freezer. Becky Swan says it's lovely in Chiswick. Always is though, isn't it? They can afford the sunshine there in their million pound houses. Uh, Kathy says, I'm late. I'm hiding from the weather with my cat. Oh, no, Kathy, I keep disappearing in and out, apparently. Carol says, I'm fine now. Hello, John Dodds. Blimey, I haven't seen you for years. Uh, did my bunny arrive? No, Claire, nothing's arrived yet. And my uh, Nick, the, 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 the handsome postman's on at the moment. He always checks my PO box. So it hasn't arrived yet, no. Wednesday Pride and Prejudice. Hang on. Wednesday Pride and Prejudice, almost in London. Thursday, bizarre but addictive. What's that mean? I went to see Pride and Prejudice almost in London. You have to, Jenny, you'll have to explain that one. It's okay in Edinburgh, says Jacqueline. Not yet, weather's good at the moment in France. Who says, I'm going to see Sally Morgan. Sa mm. Have a nice time anyway, Sue. Have a nice time. Sandra Sakalas, I'm going to see the new Bond film on Thursday with the youngest daughter. But I end up paying. Of course you will, Sandra Sakalas. Karen says, hello, John from a dull, dark Camden Town. Hope you're well. I'm all right, thank you. How's Camden Town? Oh. Anne says, I'm looking forward to Friday. Going to Jean Joan Greenoff's cross-stitch routine for three days. Oh, she's in with me on Thursday on uh, sit, um, what do I do? S Sewing Street. Susan said, I put lots of cuddles with my great new granddaughter. Can't believe she's two weeks old already. My baby will be 21 tomorrow. My favourite place. Oh, in Camden Town, she's saying, Jenny. She's in Fulham. Carol says, uh, fine here in Grantham. Anne says, yes, John, but I didn't want to mind you when you're working. You don't have much time to yourself. Yeah, that's fine, Anne. I don't mind. I don't mind. I can't remember what it was, though. Send me a message. Send me a message. Daughter just turned up for a curry, so I've got to fly, says Jane. Thanks for the lovely chat. Bye for now. Oh, yeah, lots of love. Karen says, I'm keeping now on my Yorkies. I'm starving. Just looking at the bowl of sweets for the kids. Oh, I'm not. I'm switching all my lights off. I'm not having anyone knocking on my door. Uh, you'll have a lovely time. They're good fun. Oh, she's talking to um, Anne about the thing. Is Jodie the only one, Nancy? Yes. Has she got a deep voice? She sometimes fills in for Paul O'Grady on his radio show, doesn't she? Uh, Lynn says, great film. Oh, I haven't seen the James Bond yet. Vida said, watch Departure on Channel 5. Worth a look. Oh, I can't do that. Sue says, your reaction is hilarious, John. Aren't you keen? 
No. I was. I used to be. And I watched the television programmes. But then I... A friend of mine worked on her TV show. But I'm not going to say anything. Because I wouldn't want to spoil it or anything like that. You... You get from you might get fantastic things from it. You might get brilliant things from it. Um, apparently, she's like a size eight now, isn't she, or something like that? Also, didn't she lose her husband recently? What days you on Tony Street this week, June? I'm on Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Thursday, Friday, and Sunday this week. I'll put it on my Facebook page in a minute. One of mine had liver problems. I had antibiotics and herbal liver tonic, doing a lot better. Oh, I had liver problems. I don't want those though. Tilly, hello. Have you moved in yet? Have you moved in? Karen says Camden is Camden. Busy, 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 but I love it. Oh, I know. I do miss, I do miss the buzz of a city, I have to say. Jenny says a play on the Piccadilly called Pride and Prejudice Almost. Story told by five maids. They act the part. Both the maids and the toffs. Bizarre but addictive. Not what I expected. Oh, Jenny, yeah, that sounds weird. Diane says good afternoon from Wet Windy Aberdeen. Maria says hi, gorgeous. Couldn't find the cat fabric. Is it on tomorrow, Jenna? Uh, which cat fabric do you want, Maria? Which one is it? Everything. If you go to the website, right, if you go to the website um, and go on the bit that scrolls across, right, click on the spectacular Bizarre and every fabric that's still left that hasn't sold out is there. It's there. There are pages and pages and pages. It'll take you ages to go through. Tilly says, I'm the same, John. I'm not a great Halo fan. Halo. What are we saying about Halos? Anyway, Michelle says, I don't need to have anyone knocking at my door to scare me. I live with Butch. He's not scary. You're the scary one. Butch isn't scary at all. Hello, it's Susanna from Maidstone. Just moved house, says Susanna. Carol says, we won't get trick-or-treaters. Uh, look under spooktacular deals. Yes, exactly. I don't do Halloween waste of money. I hear it and won't open the door if they're not. Well, in the village here, if you've got nothing outside your house, they're not supposed to knock. They're not supposed to knock. Anna saying that. Does anyone understand the follower anniversary label? No. I, it's weird. I've got them there. Uh, Linda's got follower anniversary on hers, but you haven't got anything on yours. On, But Susan's got follower anniversary on hers. Uh, Lin oh, Halloween. Halloween. Thank you. Halloween. Ian Purvis. I went to school with Ian Purvis. He's watching. Uh, it'll be after Christmas, I think, when you move. Oh, will it? Okay. Everything crossed. Claire says, in our village, children only knock at the decorated house. Yeah, I think that's what happens in our village now. I'm switching the lights off anyway. Great shows this weekend, but I'm busy. Oh, it is exhausting. Joan, I am knackered. Talking for five hours on my own. And it's really weird. So I've come on here to chat to you. Then I'm going to go and prep my, prep my Brianne for later. And then I've got a Zoom chat with my friends in London at half past five. I'm not going for a walk. So it's going grey now. It's going dark now. Uh, great. <laughs> Roxana said, I assumed it was for the John Scott show. What? Uh, oh, no, no, I don't think I don't think it's that because they were on the um, the work ones today. Halloween. Oh, don't worry till you understand now. Sandra Scarlett says, won't get any Halloween callers. Weather's atrocious. Done that, John. Not there. Must have sold out. Oh, it's sold out then if it's not there. Uh, oh, actually, or oh, actually go to the main web shop and put in pattern fabrics there. It might be there. Right, what's Yvette saying now? Hang on. Uh, we've had all the children already so polite. They all say thank you in French. And says, any news on your show? No, not at the moment. It's going to take a while. Because I'm going to send out a uh, survey or a questionnaire for people to tell me what they want and what they don't want, Anne. That's what we're going to do. It won't be at the same place it was before. I live in a stair. And just turn off my door buzzer so no Halloween tricksters here. I live in a stair. I wonder what that's meant to say. Predictive text rubbish, isn't it? I think the follower anniversary might be a year since I started following you. Oh, OK. But Anna Sewing Nut's been following me for much longer than that. It must be hard doing five hours with no guests, but you make it look effortless. It's tiring. It's very tiring. There's a man outside in shorts. There's a man walking. His wife has got a bobble hat on, a parka on, a scarf on. And boots on, and he's got shorts on. Don't know who they are. Don't recognise the dog either. Uh, Helen says we usually go to town for Halloween, but just put a box of sweets to the door this year. Won't well, the first kids just nick, the, nick them all? If anyone knocked on my door for Halloween, they'd be the ones getting a scare and open the door and they saw me. Oh, Judith, <laughs> Judith. Uh, 
Oh, a stair means a tenement block. Oh, what, a stairs up? Is that what it means? Doing Scottish. John, why have you blocked me? Kath, I haven't blocked you. If I blocked you, Kath, you wouldn't be able to watch this. Don't know why that is. I've gone up. Hang on, I'll look, at, look here. I watched Jean Lane with Rebecca, Beautiful Crochet Blankets with the author. Fabulous show. Let's have a look. Kath. Oh, hang on. Where's your surname gone? Kath Thorne. Oh, that's weird. I haven't blocked you, but you're not there. That's really weird, isn't it? Oh, dear. I'll have a look into that in a minute, Kath Thorne. There's a lot of funny things been happening on my Instagram. I'm following all these people I've never even heard of. Uh, Lynn says, nobody knocks on my door. The dogs start barking uh, as soon as anyone touches the gate. I watch people at the bottom of my road putting Halloween decks out. They spend a fortune, then take them down the next day. I oh, know. A stair is a Scottish thing. It's a bit like flats, thank you. Tenement blocks. Yes, that's what I meant. I live in a flat. Got it now, got it now. I don't like, don't know why people wear them in winter. Oh, shorts, you mean? The postman wears shorts all year round, but it's because he's walking miles, isn't he? My husband wears shorts till November the 1st, so it's trousers for him tomorrow. Sue says, my daughter said delivery guy shorts on today. We put him down... Down to being able to try, yeah, try, towel, towel dry his legs. Exactly, exactly. Your label said follow a de tempo. Ooh, I wonder what that means. Are you doing anything for fireworks tonight? Uh, I think I'm working, aren't I? Oh, no, I'm not. Well, no, I'm working on Friday the 5th. I'm off on the 6th. But no, I'm not doing anything. Anyway, um, the ones here in Stratford are on on the 7th, aren't they? And I'm going to London then, I think. Karen, love your shirt, John. Is the pattern cherries? No, it's apples. Look. Yeah, I, I don't, I'll, I'll look into it in a minute, Kath. I don't know. I haven't blocked you. I haven't blocked you, I promise. So I'll have a look into it in a minute. Uh, Jenny Jackson uh, says, afternoon all. She's on with me next Sunday. Next Sunday, she and Lisa Lamb. Okay, Julianne says, Hi, John, don't do Halloween. It's written all souls' eves, which time of year when the veil between this world and the spirit world was thinnest. Ooh, that's exciting. I wonder if anyone will come and visit. Hello, all, says Helen. Lynn says, We've had a pumpkin hunt on for two nights. I don't know what that means, Linda. Never heard of that pumpkin hunt. Um, uh, yeah, so, Kath, I'll look into that. I haven't, I haven't blocked you, I promise you. I haven't blocked anybody this week. So, um, it's only if you say anything rude or horrible or aggressive or something like that i'll block people but i usually tell them first have you oh no have so enjoyed sewing street the last few days brilliant brilliant bargains to be had oh no a bit exhausting oh kate mother kate's in afternoon everyone john love the shirt apple thank you afternoon says jan i'm a bit late today well yes you are because i'm just kind of closing up on it carol said we had our fireworks last night uh, there must have been fireworks near here last night because Sally and the kids, my godchildren, child and her brothers and sisters, all went to fireworks last night. So I'm presuming there must have been on here last night. And I know there's fireworks to music at Stratford next weekend. Looking forward to seeing... Oh, right, no, no, Caroline, I'm not going to Amal. I'm not presenting the, the skirt. I won't be there, but, but they're going to send me pictures. Oh, first trick-or-treaters have just knocked. Uh, Susan says, I'm a miserable woman and I hate fireworks. Kate says, late to the party, my usual sense of timing. Well, it's odd for you old people, isn't it, with the clocks going back. My order from Yarn Lane with pom-poms and hat kit arrived. Everything is so gorgeous. Oh, it was lovely. Those pom-poms are lovely. You're lucky to get those. The cat was really scared last night, says Carol. Helen says, we have loads of Halloween stuff, but it's all in the loft next to the wasp's wasp nest. Uh, Anne says, it's the ghost. What, blocking people? Going to my sister's next week. We'll be introducing my sister's sewing street. Oh, okay. I'm only in Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, thir no, Thursday, Friday and Sunday next week. Jenny Jackson's excited for next Sunday. Oh, now, uh, Margaret says, just been throwing it down here again. Bad reception on TV. Oh, no. I think it might rain here soon as well. There's always a good firework display with a fab bonfire in Long Medford. Oh, I bet there is. I bet there is. Jan. Jan. A bit late. Are you still, are you still in bed? V said, I, someone said I blocked them last week. Got back to them following in. Oh, okay. Must be. 
updates causing problems. Oh, okay. Well, I know I haven't blocked her, so it's fine. Uh, pumpkin, gosh, pumpkin lookers already not even lit up pumpkins yet. Oh, is that what you call it in your part of town? <coughs> Doing my first craft fair for ages next Saturday. If you live anywhere near Towster, come and see me, says Claire. At Towster, Toaster, Towster Town Hall, next Saturday the 6th. Christine said, lots of men wear shorts here in Cornwall and one man up the street wears a kilt all year long. And believe me, it's not a pretty sight. Especially when he rides on his push bike. Oh. <laughs> I got my Halloween window decks down for the small. Uh, oh, for the small to put up. She hasn't bothered, so they're going back upstairs again. It's getting darker, Eddie. It is here as well, June. <clears throat> oh, sorry, John. Oh, what did I say, Caroline? I can't remember what I said now. What did you ask me? Caroline, what did Caroline ask me? Hang on. Caroline. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, no, don't apologise. Don't worry about a mile. No, no, I won't be there. They asked me to present it, but I can't go all the way to Rochdale for one day. Do you know what I mean? It would have been too much. Uh, so don't, don't apologise. Oh, Jess loves my shirt with the apples on. Shanaz is late. Hello, she says. Jan smiling. Toaster. You say it? Toaster, not Towster. I knew that. I sort of knew that. Uh, it's near. It's on the, I pass it on the way when I drive to London, don't I? I always think that shorts are better than a dress to wear, says Laurie. Ooh. Light's going on now, says Carol. Well, I've had to, I have mine on here for you because otherwise I'd be sitting in the dark. Oh, dear. It's horrible, isn't it? What time is it? 4.35. 4.35 and the lights are going on. It's a sign it's winter. And it's cold today as well, isn't it? It's really, I put the heating on, but my feet are really, really cold. I think there's a draft coming from somewhere. I've obviously got a window open somewhere. I better go around and check all the windows. Ali Barton, so sorry I'm late. Went back to bed for a warm-up. Ended up going to sleep. Watching this morning, though. Oh, thank you, Ali. We're just about to wrap it all up now. So now this week, this week, this week, this week. No, I've got it. I found it. I found it. Haven't worn shorts for years, says Carol. I've got a really busy week on um, at Sane Street because on Thursday, I've got Claire from Native Lighting. I've got Jane Greenoff and I've got Dawn Taylor. Uh, Thursday, I've got Delphine. And then Sunday, no, I didn't get my foot warmer. I've got, I've, I know I've got my flip flops on. That's the problem. Isabel on Facebook, I had a notice saying someone accept a friend request from me, but I hadn't sent it. Oh, yeah, that was that. Was, that yeah, tell them to ignore that. Pammy says, having to take things easy after having an operation on Friday. It's doing a bit of hand sewn after watching some sewing street today. Love listening to your chatter so much. Catch up on your Facebook live more often. Just about to put the lights on. <gasps> Nikki says, <clears throat> never had a problem with fireworks till we got a cockapoo. Bo. But she's absolutely terrified. Oh. Ethel isn't scared though, but Bo is. Anne says, hi John. There's no yarn lane this week. Can't find it on Sky. Tuesday. All day on Tuesday. Anne. Because it, it's their first birthday. So Rebecca Reed's presenting and she's got five different guests. So the whole five hours. I know they've not advertised it, have they? The whole five hours, Anne, is Yarn Lane on Tuesday. <clears throat> Hopefully Amal should be on BBC One Northwest News. Yeah, she hasn't got a skirt yet. She gets a skirt up from us on Tuesday. Yeah, Jacqueline, Yarn Lane is all day on Tuesday. So none, in the, none at the end of the days of each day. It's just one whole day on Tuesday. I know. Uh, so go and look at the forward forward planning for Tuesday. Oh, that's all right, Anne. Don't worry. Um, I wonder what something else I can say. I put pictures up for you of our skirt, so I think I found your blocks. She mean you must be talking to someone else. Are you talking to someone else? It's on the post where you said thought there weren't any there. You can't. Uh, Anna saying that. Oh, that's to Ali. That's that's to Alison. Yeah. Um. They, everything was used. Not well. There was one. There was one block that only arrived this week, and the person's husband. I'm not going to say the name. Hadn't put enough postage on it, so only arrived this week. So that didn't make it to the to the skirt. Five hours yarn lane on Tuesday, as it's the first birthday. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, it's exactly right. So there's no yarn lane the rest of the week. So I haven't got yarn lane on any of my days this week. It's literally just five hours on um, Tuesday. Oh, the Yarn Lane TV guide isn't working. Is it not? Let's have a look. Yarn Lane. 
Oh no, I've gone to Facebook, haven't I? Don't need to be on Facebook. You know what I mean? Just looking for you now. Darn lane. TV guide. Well, can't get the whole of Yarn Lane to work at the moment. TV Guide. Tuesday. Oh, no, nothing on it. I'll, I'll let Rebecca read now. Uh, Facebook being silly. Oh, no, you see, I don't know what's going on. Right, um, right. I'm going to start winding up now because I've got to go and make my dinner. It's 4.39. And uh, Brianne takes ages to make. It takes two hours to cook. So I'm not going to be eating for hours, ages and ages, am I? Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, I hope you all have a good week. Um, I'm having a clairvoyant sitting on Wednesday morning. So I'll tell you all about that next week. Um, oh, it's, have the messages just stopped now? I think something might have happened my end now, look. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the messages have stopped my... Oh, no, there we go. There we go. It's moving again now. So I'm having my hair cut... Uh, oh, tomorrow morning. I'm having my hair cut tomorrow morning. Doing an Zoom interview tomorrow afternoon. Oh, Brianne. Brianne. All right. Um, thanks, John. Enjoy dinner. Right. What you do <coughs> is you put... No, no. I, I, Ali, they're, they're there. I've seen them. She put them up on the strand where you've said on Facebook, I can't see mine. She's put all the pictures underneath there. Um... I'll tell you very quickly, Brianne is, you get aubergine, courgette, pepper, and onion, and or oregano, oregano. You put a little roof on the dish, and you put it in the oven, with olive oil, put it in the oven for an hour. Then after an hour, you take it out, you take the, the foil off, and you put in a tin and a half of um, chopped tomatoes. Then you put it back in for half an hour. Then you take it out, then you put in lumps of feta cheese and then you put it back in for another half an hour. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Right. OK, let's see. Silla says goodbye. Susan says, I'm so glad I was part of the squares for a mile skirt. I saw one of my blocks. Thank you for the chat, says Anne. Lynn says, bye, Johnny. Enjoy your tea. Anna says, I'll ask them to report to Isabel. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Sue says, have a good day's off. I will a few days off. I will. Anne says, where's she from? Oh, who, Anne? Who's, who's, who, where's who from? Sandra says, happy cooking, John. Tilly says, take care. Jacqueline says, take care. Susan says, have a good week. Thanks for the chat. Dan says, nice to see you. Have a good week. Lynn says, enjoy your meal. I will. Lynn says, sounds like ratatouille. Yeah, but it's not, it's drier than ratatouille. It's not as wet as ratatouille. And do you do ratatouille in the oven? I thought you did ratatouille in a soup, in a, in a soup, in a pan. Bye, everyone. Off to bed for a few hours as working tonight, says Mark. You still a go-go dancer, Mark, in the clubs? He's one of those, you know, with a pole and jigging it about. Take care, says Susan. Uh, Carol says, oh, no, not for me. I presume my Brianne. Bye, everyone, says Joan. Michelle says, I'll be around in a couple of hours. <laughs> Lynn to it says, I'm going to pick mum up tomorrow for a week. A week of running to keep up. A week of running to keep up with her around Marks and Spencer, Sainsbury's and Waitrose. She's 93. Oh, God, love her. Bye, John, says Joan. Sounds delicious. Your tea sounds yummy, says Kath. Marcus says, have a marvellous few days off. I will do and have a good reading. Tea sounds yummy, says Vida. Sounds lovely. My kind of recipe. Bye, says Laurie. Claire says, thanks for the chat. Roxana says, have a good evening. Enjoyed your days off. Ian says, have a great week. A national treasure. That's me. Thanks for the chat. John says, Anne, have a good week. See you Thursday. Princess says, have a good week. Ali Barton says, uh, oh, Anna's going to send them to you via messenger. Uh, Carol says bye. Yvette says bye. Caroline says have a wonderful week. Stay safe, everybody. Princess says, oh, no, that doesn't say princess. That's a Francis. Take care. Liz says enjoy your days off. I will. Claire Voyan is in Birkenhead, but it's by Zoom. It's by Zoom. Uh, sounds lovely. I'm going to try it. Thanks, John, says Sue. Sandra Scarlett says happy week. Maria says take care. Helen says, time for dinner here too. And waving at the small people as they pass the window. I hope nobody knocks on my door. Michelle says, bye. Pauline says, off to do my Christmas cards. Margaret says, bye, stay safe. I need to put the... Oh, bins. I've got to put my bin out as well. It might get blown everywhere. Uh, Lynn says, and to it, Lynn to it, says, stay safe. Who will, who will for? Bye, John and friends, says Julie. Uh, 
Um, Karen says, bye. Have a good week. Isabel says, good luck with the reading. Thanks for the catch up. Nancy says, bye, John. Have a good week. Shanaz says, bye bye. Well, I think I've caught up now. So uh, have a lovely week, everyone. Thanks, Ali. You go back to bed now. Oh, well, I've got three days off. I'm not going to work hard at all. I'm going to choose my new kitchen. Enjoy your week, John, everyone. Determined to get a comment in, even though the cat doesn't want to let me. That's Diane. Uh, you only just made it because I'm going to press the finish button in a minute. Bye, John. Catch up with you soon. You will indeed, Jean. You will indeed. I've got to see now if, why Kath thinks that I've blocked her. Bye, John. Catch up soon, she says. Take care, everyone. Oh, Heidi has just literally signed in and I'm about to press the button. Bye, says Nikki. Have a great week. Kathy says, I got hit by the buffering, so I'll catch up later. Oh, sorry, Kathy. All right. It's not dark, but I couldn't have gone for a walk. Couldn't have gone for a walk now, could I? Uh, I shall uh, see you on Thursday. Take care. Lots of love. Sco oh, Scooter. Scooter's just said hello. Just I'm saying goodbye. Scooter, how are you? How's San Diego? Oh, Scooter said, bye, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you got your Halloween costume on? Have a good week, everyone, says Jacqueline. We will. June says bye-bye. Kiss, kiss, everybody. Don't be too depressed, June. You'll be fine. Princess says goodbye. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. And what are the herbal liver capsules? That was for a cat. That was for a cat. You don't want to give them to your granddaughter. Anne says bye. I'll see you later, and Take care. Well, I'm going to press the button now. Bye.